Hello everybody, it's John from Bullion RV, your Northland Ice Castle headquarters. And today we are gonna look at one of the 24 footers that we ordered. It is a 24 foot Spirit Extreme. The layout on this thing is absolutely phenomenal. Can't wait for you guys to see it. So we're gonna start with a quick tour of the outside, then take a look at the inside and see what you guys think. So you start right out here and as you can see, this is red fiberglass with a black stone guard. Here's your awning right here. We don't have it real far out because we're real close to this other ice house. But you can see the blue LED or the LED lights that you have up here, plus your outdoor speakers. You get a couple of 110 outlets down here. This comes on the new GS frame. It's fully hydraulic. You got really cool Spirit Extreme logo here. Keep going around the back. You can see the back of this thing. You got a nice big bay window back here. And then we'll take, take a look at the outside. You got a cable connection right here. Keep going by, you can see your holding tanks down here, and your sewer access valve inside, so you don't have to worry about them rusting off. More 110 outlets out here. Two 30 pound propane tanks that we fill for you before you go. And you can see the big Spirit Extreme logo. Now like I say, this comes on the new GS hydraulic frame. It's really fantastic. It's got this pin holders here. So you can pin your rear axles once they're up. Um, just make sure that you take those pins out before you go anywhere because Otherwise, you're gonna just bend the heck out of that frame. And then we have two pins that go right here. Nice place to hold the pins so you're not losing them in the snow. And then, of course, right up here, we have your fresh and city water connection. And the highlight of this thing is on the inside. So we're gonna go inside and take a look. So this thing sleeps six people. It's absolutely fantastic. So what we'll do, we're gonna start right up here in the front of the V, so you can see that you have two bunks here. Of course, this top bunk folds up out of the way. You got some one and 10 outlets, some power jacks here, but you know, places for a couple people to sleep. And they also have cabinets up here. So they have places to store stuff. Right inside you have your battery connections here, your exterior light switches, your interior light switches, your awning control, and then this is cool, it's got a little dimmer switch on it, so if you look up at these lights, ooh, you can bring it down and bring it back up. Right across from the entry door, you have your bathroom. This bathroom is absolutely spectacular. It's the nicest bathroom I have seen in a nice castle. It's all on one level, you got a nice, Big bathroom sink here. You got a really nice medicine cabinet, a little window, some 110 outlets. So if you've got a hookup curling iron or something, you can do that. Lots of toilet space here for your, your legs. And a nice big corner shower here. So I mean, look around this thing. You got a really good sized bathroom here. And then we come outside the bathroom and here, you got a closet. So you got coat rod up here, shelf, place to put hats and mittens and everything else. Lots of storage space. Nice big window here. You got a lot of natural light. Love these shades that we have. And then down here, well, I'm getting text apparently. We look down here, you got lots of storage underneath there. Of course, your lights to light up your holes. This unit has six holes in it, carpet floor, as you can see. And of course, you have your AC up here, so you can use this in the wintertime or the summertime. You can camp in it, you can hunt in it, and you can fish with it. it makes a lot of sense to get something like this. You have the dinette here, which of course goes down into a bed. And then you got another bed up here. And of course, this is all electric to get her up and down. 
so you can sleep a total of six people. And then over here, you have your entertainment center area, so you have a place to hook up your TV and things, and you can decide where you want to hook this TV up at, where you want to mount it at. And then down below here, you have your AM, FM stereo, CD player, DVD player, and it also works with the Bluetooth. So you can see your speakers up here. You can really rock out in this unit. And of course, you can hear that's Rush there, you know, Rush is from Canada. And that's good because you need a lot of ice for this thing. You're gonna get a lot of ice up in Canada. And fish really like Rush because, you know, they're from Canada. And if you're fishing in Canada, you're gonna get a lot of fish playing Rush. More storage here underneath the sink. Got a really nice stainless steel two compartment sink here. You've got your three burner cooktop and your oven. 30,000 BTU furnace here. Keeps this thing really nice and toasty. Of course, this has Arctic insulation. So sprayed foam, sprayed walls, and sprayed holes. So the whole floor of this unit is insulated with spray foam. Got an oven here to cook your pizzas in. You got your exhaust fan, microwave, more storage up above, more storage here. And of course, your Furion 110 fridge. Look at that fridge. Lots of space. This thing is going to be awesome in the summertime, awesome in the wintertime. So I'll take one more quick look through here. A lot to look at. So if you're interested in this or any other unit that we have on the lot, you can call or text me. My name is John, AKA Johnny Ice Castle, or just ask for the Ice House guy and they're gonna come and get me. You can reach me at 218-355-0623. And as always, remember, you can camp in an Ice House, but you cannot fish in a camper. Thanks, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon.